turning now to this morning's U.S. Bank Economic 360, and our topic is stress tests the government has performed on the largest domestic banks. Joining us is U.S. Bank Senior Portfolio Manager Mike Deniman. So, Mike, we've heard a whole lot about these stress tests for the nation's largest banks. Tell us how that was set up and how this matters to the economy. Sure. Well, we did get those results about a week and a half ago. And really, this was just the latest go-round, if you will, for, for this round of tests. They, they began them back in 2009, immediately following the financial crisis, but wanted to update them to see what progress had been made. So essentially what the Fed does is they create a doomsday-type financial scenario, if you will, yeah, where they envision a plunging stock market, another housing crisis, 13% unemployment. They, they roll all that into one and then apply that to each bank's individual balance sheet to see how it re respond to that sort of situation. The idea being that now that banks have regained some strength, have they built up enough capital that they could withstand another setback, another potential crisis? Or is there additional work to do to continue to shore up that balance sheet? They didn't have to look too hard for a financial crisis, just looking back a few years. So, so this is all good. They've, they've taken some steps here to make sure the banks are stronger. What were the results? Well, the results were actually very, very positive. Uh, 15 out of the 19 financial institutions passed the test. So that was very encouraging. And certainly the market responded very well. Uh, it could also be an indication that uh, the stocks of financial firms are finally starting to turn the corner. So that's all good news, but it's also important to point out and to keep in mind that the four banks that failed the test, they aren't in any danger of, of collapsing. All this is saying is that were there to be another financial crisis, these banks wouldn't have as much cushion as the others, and that this perhaps is a push to get them to continue to shore up the balance sheet and to raise some capital. Mike, what does this mean for business? Does it mean that more money is going to be available? Will the, will the things open up a little bit? Well, it's, it's good news across the board. Certainly it helped the stock market, and that's yes. appreciated. Uh, it is, I think, a pretty solid indication that the banking system in our country is far stronger now than it was before the crisis. So that should not only provide a comfort level to the general public, but also, as, as you point out, for those that are looking to, to receive loans, to expand business, to start new ventures. There are you know, so many more opportunities now with the stronger financial uh, system in this country than we had just two or three years ago. So a, a stronger banking system leads to a stronger economy. All right. Thanks for the good news, Mike. Thanks for being on U.S. Bank Business Watch again.